We're out here now on board Abraham Lincoln for the OT-1 operational test period for the F-35C. This is the first time we've operated the F-35C at sea, integrated in a Navy air wing, doing what we call cyclic missions, where they go out and actually fly a mission. Previously, it's all been carrier qualifications, and those, that's where we train the pilots to land at the aircraft carrier, so the only thing they do is take off and land. So again, this is the first time we've been at sea, integrated into an air wing, operating the airplane from the aircraft carrier, going out and doing missions, and then coming back. The F-35C is going out and flying with F-18s, E-2s, Growlers, and conducting missions that they would do in combat if required, and conducting that training. That's a big deal because it's the first time we really see, one, how the airplane handles on the aircraft carrier, how we do maintenance, how we sustain it while we're at sea, and then how it integrates with the ship, how it interoperates with communications, data links, the other aircraft, and then how we conduct the mission and tie into the other aircraft that are conducting that mission and how effective they are when they do it. The F-35 looked just like any other airplane out there moving around along the flight deck and launching, and I think that's probably the best example of how it's going so far. It's exciting to have that new fifth generation out to sea. This is the first fifth generation aircraft the Navy's had, and to see it actually operating out here and looking like a naval aircraft is pretty cool, and, and folks are pretty happy about it.